Welcome back to the devlog. I've been very busy and there's a lot of progress to show. Let's jump right in. Last time I had basic selection and pathfinding working. Let's go on from there. The first thing I've done is a lot of refactoring. Instead of having separate managers for crew creatures and items, I now have one object manager with generics. That took a while to figure out to get everything right, but it makes my life easier, the code easier to maintain, and I can add additional object types without writing new code. Means I had to rewrite a bunch of code, but it's also more readable now and I'm more type safe. I also spend a lot of time fiddling with pathfinding to get it right and to get it working for the AI. And I added some placeholder graphics for weapons use so that you can, for example, fire this ray gun at this alien. As in the board game, the effect on the aliens is determined randomly the first time you use it. If you're unlucky, it will split the aliens into multiple aliens. Oops. As far as code goes, that's just another collection of scriptable objects where the effects of weapons are stored. So yeah, it's not a game yet, but the idea of a game is there, the basic foundation. Which means I have basic interactions working, doors are opening, I can pick up items, I can switch between my different crew members and I'm working on the AI code. And as you can see here, I'm experimenting a bit with different ways to making these devlog videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it, which you prefer. Next time I will have more time to explain again how all the different parts work. For now, that's it. Goodbye. See you again probably next week.